welcome back to Afternoon Express on this Africa Day. Now, May is Africa Month and all across the globe, people commemorate this day with different celebrations and events. Now, today, we've decided to get to the heart of the matter, do me a feel you, girl, <laughs> with a couple of recipes that we think will make you absolutely proud to be African. Now, we're kicking things off with a hearty chicken heart recipe with Chef Akona, who will be talking us through it. So, Chef, you've already told us what we needed. Yep. So, again, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full recipe list and details as to how you can create this for this with this winter warmer yes yes it is such a delicious meal and it's actually so easy to make that you can whip it up in within 30 minutes max and then it's done okay yeah so chef, what i actually want to come closer mm -hmm. you know why yeah do me I, I already know where you're going with this <laughs> chef for showing us how to accurately yeah. and quite and um, thoroughly clean your chicken hearts mm -hmm. so you did show us a little bit before but now you've got your water yeah so let's dive into that what do you think Dooms? not a problem you guys can go into that but i'm going to get started with my yeah. peppers here so i've got peppers garlic and some onion and some oil mm -hmm. i'm just going to get started with the base for this because all of that is going to go into this beautiful little pan so let's let uh, you guys carry on with that and i'll just get chopping cool love that Alrighty. so with this one we basically just want to cut the hearts into half Right, and then you want to open it up and then just run it underwater. And that is just to get rid of that excess blood that you don't want into your sauce and you put it away. And I mean, almost immediately, I can see yeah. that excess blood that you're talking about just right there. Mm -hmm. So you just got to keep um, doing that, making sure that it's thoroughly cleaned out. True. Uh, what are some of the dangers? You know, when you're working with chicken, it is the most sensitive meat. And right now we're working with a vital organ of a chicken. Yes. So what do we need to remember when preparing? So when we, you know, preparing anything chicken related, we always have to remember that there's something called salmonella, mm -hmm. which is a food poisoning bacteria. And that could literally, you know, get you sick. So we have to handle meat with care and always try to make sure that we wash our hands in between each dish. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. It's all about being cleanly in the kitchen and within your own kitchen, Ekaya. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are just like, oh, guys, we see you guys whipping up a storm. Don't worry. We are always making sure our hands yeah. are clean mm -hmm. and um, the surfaces are clean, sanitized and hygienic. Yeah. Dumi, when it comes to the fresh vegetables, though, that have to go into this meal, can we play? Yes, definitely, Palisa. The one thing I, I love about uh, the Africanness of our recipe piece today is that it's giving a base on how you can what you can use in there however we always say that you can add your own flavor in there so we're doing red peppers here to add that additional little bit of sweetness to the to the dish but you could use anything I mean I was thinking of uh, morojo you could even put morojo into this dish because it works very well you could serve it with amatum there as well you know keeping it very uh, African still yeah. but just getting all those flavors that yeah. we want from the hearts essentially that's what we're talking about here some South African proudly local vegetables amatum those yeah. Sweet African potatoes that I love so, so much. I mean, I can just peel those open and just chow them all the time. Ekaya. Or alternatively, you can put in that spinach. Mm -hmm. Do me, you call it morojo. Morojo, mama. Morojo. You Tell us it's spinach. <laughs> spinach. <laughs> morojo. I think there's, uh, there's so many different ways to call it. And yeah. I think Honale Morojo, people say, no, there's morojo and then there's spinach. Mm -hmm. I've been corrected a couple of times. So Same. I don't know, Chef, if you agree. <laughs> I, I would agree with Tumi because it, it, it also depends where you're from um, mm. um, as as far as South Africa goes, because you'll always have like different words for these, you know, for these mm. dishes. Yeah, for these yeah. grand dishes. And whilst you continue on your side, I mean, Dumi, you were speaking about the fresh vegetables that you can add, Correct. that you can play with. You've got the red colored down. Mm -hmm. I love to add green. I think I said this last <laughs> week when Tiaz came through. I'm gonna add some green. I've yeah. got some fresh chili here. I've got some spring onion and I've got some parsley. So I'm just gonna chop that up and then I'm gonna hand it over just for the end of that dish. You know, when the salt bake goes, <laughs> this is what you can add essentially just have fun with it yes so let's keep going um your pup is also done yes so the pup is done and over here we've got the chicken hearts and i quickly just do want to give them a quick marinade and with your marinade you just want to add in some of that chutney and it's a great 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 south african brand that we almost you know use and you know we have in our pantries mm. and then you just give that a quick mix and then because of the sweetness of the chutney and also some of the tartiness, it will balance out the vegetables as well, like your peppers and your onions as well. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And do me on your side, I can see your pan is hot, girl. Correct, Vanessa. It's nice and hot because what we want to do is we want to flash fry these onions. I'm going to go in there with the rest of the uh, ingredients here. We're going to go in with our peppers. And then I'm going to go in with our uh, garlic that I've just nicely chopped up here. Mm -hmm. And now that we're talking about our African heritage as people, it just makes me realize that, yes, we like uh, inkizi or hearts mm -hmm. here in South Africa. Yeah. But I'm thinking you could incorporate it into any African dish. Like, for instance, jollof rice would be so nice with mm -hmm. this. You know, just put that into that mm -hmm. dish. It would be so beautiful 
beautiful. And just, you know, put your own flavors and, you know, color into it. It's all up to you. But, Balasa, I'm going to saute this. You don't want it to be overcooked. You just want it to still maintain its crunchiness, but then uh, still be nice and cooked. Chef, I don't know if you want to add those marinated parts yes. into here. So I'm just quickly seasoning these, just briefly. You don't want to season them fully. Um, because there's still going to be a lot more seasoning that we're going to add towards okay. the end of the dish. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And on my side, you know, I'm handling my favorite ingredient, the chilies, keeping it hot as it's cold, getting cold in South Africa. Um, we were talking about different ways you can celebrate African cuisine mm -hmm. and African food, which then leads me to ask you, Chef, what does Africa Day mean to you? Africa Day means to me being with family, celebrating heritage, and, you know, being part of who you are and your background and, you know, vibing with all of that, you know, goodness because we are African children yeah. and we want to embody that as well. So that's what Africa Day means to me. I also think that it's so special to me that we've got so many different opportunities mm. throughout the year to celebrate who we are. Exactly, Palissa. And what better way to celebrate than with food, you know? So I just want to touch on something, Chef. You mentioned we marinate the heart. Yes. And people most times don't understand when you're marinating the meat or whatever dish, mm -hmm. you're trying to break down the enzymes and it actually yes. helps it more make it more tender. So I put in some hearts that we had already marinated beforehand. Yes. This helps with making it tender and mm -hmm. actually helps it cook faster. Yes. And also it intensifies the flavor and it also carries that beautiful flavor towards the end product. Yes. Yeah, awesome. you always want that. All right, so this is obviously another way, we, an, another one of those dishes we need to make sure we cook fully. Yes. So we're going to let this cook down and then we're going to top it up onto that pap that we've mm. got over there. Yeah. Okay. In fact, let me start garnishing the pap yes. because I want some garnish in between the pap <laughs> and on top of that delicious stew yeah. that Udumi is creating right there. Now, did you, did your heart skip a beat? I'm trying with these heart pants. Yes. You know what? Did your heart skip a beat, Mzanti? Well, ours surely did. And if you want to get your heart beating happily, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get your hands on this full recipe list and ingredients. Yummy. Chef, I'm not done here. Yeah. You still have more cooking. You've promised yes. us oxtail, yes. biltong. And also, we've got a surprise. We're making croquettes as well. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Let me plate that up here, Palissa. Mm -hmm. And then I guess you're going to get into all these other recipes yes. just now. Love that. Now, if you think South African favorite meat, oxtail, couldn't get any better, well, we'll be serving you with an extra twist of beloved meat, a built-on croquette. All this homey goodness when we return.